You mean you have photographs? <laughs> that sounds like a confession to me, Colonel. In fact, the double negative has led to proof positive. I, I'm afraid you gave yourself away. Are you trying to make me look stupid in front of the other guests? You don't need any help from me, sir. <laughs> There's evidence to support the question of your politics. Oh. My politics? Since when is working for the Republican Party a crime? You swore an oath to the Republican Party, but neglected to vote for Eisenhower in the last election. That's grounds for an ousting if ever there was one. But my voting records are confidential. Everything has its price, Mr. Green. So, there you have it. Have what? A crooked senator's wife, a lascivious doctor, a disloyal Republican, and so forth. Not exactly adhering to an all-American standard of behavior, are you? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> ah! Don't worry, it's not the police. It's the police! Ah! Ah! Notice the mahogany floors! <laughs> Did you know, in the 17th century, the buccaneer John Esquemelling recorded the use of mahogany for building canoes? Can you canoe? What? Hey, where did everybody Notice go? Notice the brass doorknobs crafted specifically for Lord Body by his buddy in 18... I don't care about doorknobs. I'm going in. Aren't you afraid? Of course. Of what? A fate worse than death? No. Just death. <laughs> 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 Sometimes, the most obvious answer is right under our noses. I think the best course of action is to retrace our steps. It all started like this. <laughs> At the start of the evening, there was thunder, lightning, the dogs bark, ding dong, Colonel Mustard, ding dong, Mrs. White, who noticed Yvette. <clears throat> Mrs. Peacock, who noticed the cock. Then, <clears throat> Mr. Green, rest, sit. Oh, no, not you, sir, please, come in. Come on. Then, Professor Blum, Miss Scarlet, gong. Then, dinner is served. Well, that was more like a cocktail minute. To the dining room. Shark fin soup, oh, oh, yum, 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 my favorite. Then Mr. Body arrived and we all went to the study. Coffee, brandy, who is this body, butler? How do you do? Then Mr. Body asked me to pass out the packages. One, two, three, one, two, oh, a snake! Oh, no. It's a rope. Then Mr. Body switched off the lights. Now! No! No! Mr. Body was dead. <laughs> but not really. Really, he was alive. We just didn't know it yet. Then Mrs. Peacock drank his drink. <laughs> Poison! Ah! Ah! Well, someone had to stop her screaming. Then we heard to the billiard room. But Mrs. Peacock joined late. I am an old woman who may or may not have been poisoned. Then Mrs. White asked, who else is in the house? To which we all replied, Zippo, who we found knifed in the back. Ha! Oh, ignore that. Oh, God. So gross. Blood. Germs. Will somebody help me up? I suggested we take the cook's body into the study, but body's body was gone. Then Mrs. Peacock entered with body on her body because body had been bludgeoned in his bean. Next, the briefcase. 
empty. Next, the mattress arrived. Are you a killer? And I locked him in the lounge. Bam, dead. That's when the unexpected cop showed up. Hello, you're all acting rather peculiar. Can you, can you? Bam, dead. Next, the maid got strangled in the billiard room. Dead. Which brings us to I am bang! And here we all are! Bravo! You can't prove anything, Wadsworth. I'm not Wadsworth. I'm Mrs. Body. Wow. Well, you see, when you all started murdering people, I decided to roll the dice, see if you'd self-implode. Kill off my entire network of spies and informers, which you all did. Splendidly, by the way. Generously leaving all your fingerprints on every glass, doorknob, and dead body. Now, I got each of you on the hook for murder. Murder? You leave my family out of this! No! Oh! 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 Larry! Oh, oh, Larry! Larry! 